Joining me now at the West End Brewery, the chimney unveiling for 2016, is Sturt Premiership coach Marty Matner. Marty, uh, pretty special moment when you see those colours unveiled, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, oh, it's, a, it's a special moment. Um, you know, the players, they really enjoyed I, I enjoyed today when I'm back in 2002 when I was a player, and I think the boys are going to enjoy it today as well. How did it compare 14 years ago, obviously, as a player here in 02 and today as a coach? Oh, it's definitely more enjoyable as a player. I think the hard work you go through throughout the whole year and all the effort you put in, um, the reward at the end of the year is, you know, is great. And um, I think the boys have really enjoyed the last few days and I think today's going to be even better. I would have thought it was quite special for you today from the point of view you got to share it with your son. So you're holding him there as the colours were unveiled. That would have been pretty cool. Yeah, definitely. Um, we... Uh, when we first moved back to Adelaide, we drove past a few times and he asked what the chimney was about. And he, we told him it was about the last year that West Adelaide were on there and the Eagles were on there. And we said that you know, if whoever wins this year will be put up. And so he was quite excited about today and he was he was really excited about coming today. And he's um, he's been talking all, all week, or sorry, this week about, on yesterday, about coming and watching the two Blues be up on the top. So um, no, he's pretty excited about it and he, he loves his footy at the moment, so he's really enjoying it. Yeah, I've had a similar conversation with my son. It's really important to keep that tradition alive for the next generation of fans, isn't it? And this is at the West End Brewery, one of those great traditions in South Australia that a lot of other states don't have. Yeah, definitely. Um, I was talking to a few guys. I was email, um, texting a few Sydney boys about good luck this week and that. And they were asking how the week's going. I mentioned about today you're at the local brew, and they're like, hey, how good a day is that? And I said, it's yeah. one of the best. So it's a great tradition, and yeah, West End have been great, and they're supportive not only the SAFL, but this day as well. And um, like I said, when you win one, you look forward to this day. It's one of the best I've ever had. Obviously, uh, nearly 48 hours pretty much passed since you've won the flag now. Um, how are things all sitting with you? And uh, have you dared to think about next year, or are you still trying to uh, live, live in the moment? No, I'm still trying to like, live in the moment. and. Um, just enjoy it. I'll, hopefully, if I get time, I'll sit down tomorrow and actually watch the game um, as more a review, I guess, and have a bit of a look. And um, and then, yeah, I think once that happens, it's sort of get into pre-season, start planning and organising and, um, yeah, have a look at the list and what we need to do. Yeah. So it's sort of not much time because, yeah. Um, yeah, players go away and mm. have to decide on what they're going to do and we got to start looking at players and, you know, we've got to look at the, I guess, draft as well, yep. you know, players getting drafted, who doesn't get drafted, so there's yep. a bit going on and there's a bit of planning going on in the next few weeks. Sure. Are there any uh, certain departures at this stage with players? Uh, I would have thought you've got a very young list, but um, Scotty McMahon going around again? Uh, at this stage he's contracted, yeah, we'll have a yep. chat to him again, but I'm, I'm, yep. I'm guessing he wants to yeah, go yeah. again. Um, and other than him, everyone else is, you know, relatively young, so mm. in terms of that we're in a good position. Yeah. Um, it's probably just waiting till the draft. I think we've got a few kids who are an opportunity to get drafted, um, and we'll just wait and see. And hopefully, that hopefully we do get a couple. It'd be great for the club to just do that, um, and then we just wait and see. Well, Marty, thank you very much for joining us today on Sample TV at the 2016 West End Brewery, the Chimney Unveiling. Uh, all the best for next year, and uh, keep enjoying the celebrations. Thanks, Zach. Joining me now at the West End Chimney Unveiling for 2016 is Sturt Premiership Captain Zane Kirkwood and, or should I say, Shane Kirkwood. <laughs> Tell us about how that's unfolding, uh, the new nickname, mate. Yeah, it's a uh, nickname that I try and keep away from, from people. Uh, yeah, no, it's... Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's, he's definitely here now. <laughs> what about Premiership captain? Is that starting to uh, get an awesome ring to it? That's uh, it's got an awesome, awesome ring to it. it feels, that feels that's what he played footy for is to be a part of this and to be able to lead the boys out there on, on Sunday was was stuff that you dream about. So it was um, yeah a big honour and wrap for the boys. Fantastic to share in a day like this today with the boys uh, unveiling the double blue colours on the chimney. Yeah, like that's that's a big deal. Uh, obviously, the history behind it, and they've been doing it for I think it was 50 or 60 years. Yeah. So um, it's yeah, it's it's awesome. And to I think everywhere I go now, I'll be going via Port Road, yeah. so I can just see the, the double blues colours up there. It's, uh, it's it's awesome for the boys, and they were they were very ecstatic when it came came out there before. Yeah. Um, how did you guys go about uh, organising with the rope? Uh, was there anyone in a strategic position or? The real team we needed the, the big heavy lifters, the gym junkies like Corey Beard and Tom Harms and all those boys uh, doing the heavy lifting. Um, and big, big room. I think he took a lot of the, a lot of the weight there. But uh, 
us weak boys are up the front, not doing too much. So, uh, what, what about Big Jack? Surely big Oz, yeah, Big Oz. Yeah, no, he, was, he was throwing a bit of weight behind that and, and getting it down there, so yeah, that was good. And now really special to watch the whole game back, the grand final with the team as a group? Yeah, we uh, I haven't watched it yet. We yeah. saw snippets of it on Sunday night after after the game. and yeah. So getting to sit down and really soak it in today. And uh, I think it's probably start hitting, hitting home today what we've, what we've actually done. So. And then uh, after that, uh, a little bit of a break for the playing group and uh, looking to next year. It all happens pretty quick, doesn't it, mate? Yeah, that's it. And we already spoke a little bit yesterday um, about next year. And, we, we really want to get used to this feeling, yeah. um, it's bad weird. And we're very lucky that we've got a very switched, switched on group and very level headed group and um, yeah, the boys that are looking forward, to, we'll, we'll enjoy this but are looking forward to next year as well. You're well placed to do that aren't you because you've got such a young list, um, there aren't many two older stages in the side obviously and Scotty McMahon uh, go around and net again for another year because he's contracted. Yeah that's it and that, that's the, the beauty, we're all, all around a very similar age. Um, and it's, it's such a tight group, and I, I don't think we'll, we'll lose many. Maybe lose some of the draft. I think Jared Lean, it's well, my tip to go into bigger and better okay. things. But uh, yeah, if we can keep the group together and, and really build something, that's yeah, it's, it's a very special group, and I'm proud to be a part of it. Well, Zane, I really don't know how you're not in the AFL draft yourself, but a little bit biased. But uh, thank you very much for your time today at the West End Brewery. We do appreciate that. Once again, congratulations on the win and uh, the fact that you're a Premiership captain. Thanks, mate. Yeah, it's an uh, awesome feeling. Thank you.